Hello and welcome to another library haul. Uh, I had a great time at the library picking up everything on my hold shelf. Uh, excited to get to it. First off, how to design cool stuff. Uh, I got this because I saw it online. I don't know how to design stuff at all. I'm, I've got a, I think, I think I know when something looks good when it's designed well, but as far as knowing how to design things, not too good. And I was kind of excited looking at this. It's kind of like almost like a cheat sheet. Like uh, if you're like a real designer, like went to school and really know your stuff with Adobe Illustrator and all that, this is probably obnoxious to you. But for those of us who uh, are just kind of like need something designed really quickly or easily, or just want some simple ideas, this is great. It's like a big cheat sheet of all kinds of ways to design stuff from brochures to websites. Uh, how to lay things out, space, typography, how to design cool stuff. I'm excited to look at it. All right, I got uh, Bloodfather by uh, with with Mel Gibson. A father makes his own justice. Well, there you go. I don't know anything about this movie, uh, but looks like it could be fun to watch. Uh, next movie, Like Crazy. It's got Jin Erso in it, uh, also known as Felicity Jones. Uh, and the guy, uh, what's his name? Anton Yelchin. He uh, was in that movie Green Room, which is a fantastic movie. I didn't know this, this movie existed until I saw it in another YouTube video being talked about for some reason. And I thought, I've never heard of this movie. And apparently it's like Best Picture Grand Jury Sundance Film Festival. So, great. Excited, excited to watch it. Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. So, uh, I read the other book, Let's Like This, called Steal Like an Artist. And I really liked it because it, it aligned with a lot of my personal views about, um, about what it means to copy or what it means to um, take inspiration from other people's work. And this one I've been hesitant to look at. Uh, it's all about promoting or how to promote yourself. Uh, I read a couple of, you know, like one page at the beginning. And uh, it says something like, you know, um, you don't have to just focus only on promoting yourself. You don't have to be an annoying self-promoter, but you can just show your work. Here's the thing. These books are written for people who are desperately trying to get what they make known. And I'm not so sure that that's what's most important. Like, I think that uh, there used to be an age when the idea of making something for other people to see was just completely out of the question. You learned to play the guitar to play for your own amusement. And maybe you could play for some family members every once in a while, or, or you learned how to whittle, you know, carve things. There was, there was no I never premise that you'd ever sell that thing to someone else so that you could get paid for your hobby. And I read some article online recently and talked about how, like, our generation has really kind of... Uh, taken hobbies and just turned them into these things that we always have to turn into businesses. Like there was a time when people used to just do stuff for their own amusement. Uh, and then, you know, the internet came along and we were all able to like create things and technology, the democratization of technology allows people to create so many more things, hence YouTube, making videos, doing all these kinds of fun things. And now we're kind of, but, but then along with that came with this urging of everyone to want to become famous by it. To the, to the point where like, even going on vacation, people take Instagram photos and post them online as almost a way to gain following so maybe you could monetize your vacations. And I don't know, there's something, there's something about this book that kind of rubs me the wrong way. And in, in, anyways, I'm, I'm excited to read it to learn maybe what, what it has to say, but at the same time, I feel like there is something... Um, about just doing stuff because you like to do it and not worrying about trying to make money from it or trying to promote yourself or get attention from it or grow your status from it, but just to make stuff for the sake of making it and enjoying yourself in the moment. Uh, and do it because it's entertaining. Instead of letting someone else entertain you, entertain yourself. Anyways, 
I'll be interested to see what it says, but I've got a chip on my shoulder about the whole topic. Show your work. Lost at Sea by John Ronson. Um, the last book, I just finished my last book called Dark Matter. Uh, I forget the author's name. And it was fantastic. I really liked it. Uh, that book, it was a fiction novel, a uh, novel, right, about um, this guy who travels through dimensions kind of accidentally. Uh, and the author did a great job of just taking all kinds of strange, like surprising tracks, right? Things that you didn't think were going to happen happened. And things you never thought would happen happened. And it was like very fun to read that book. Um, so uh, I'm excited also to read this book. This is nonfiction stories. I read John Ronson's other book, So You've Been Publicly Shamed, and I read that book in like two days because it was just so easy and enjoyable to read. Um, so I'm excited to read this one. I think this is made up of a bunch of different articles or stories that he's written. I don't think this is all just one topic, but uh, I'm on this high of that of that Dark Matter book, and I'm hoping this one just keeps me, keeps me sailing high and just getting excited about reading, and it'll just chew right through this book. Lost at Sea. Uh, Pete's... Dragon, Disney's Pete's Dragon. Um, I don't know anything about Pete's Dragon. That's something. I know that there's like, I've heard of that before. But I guess maybe I'm not quite old enough to remember. I don't know if it's like a TV show, it's like a cartoon, or was it a ride at Disneyland? I really don't know what Pete's Dragon even is. But I know it has to do with a kid named Pete and he has like a dragon. But other than that, like, I keep thinking of like, that the magic dragon lived by the sea, something or other, right? I think that's I think that's what that is. It's some kind of cartoon. Anyways, I don't know anything about Pete's Dragon, but highly rated and excited to watch it with my kids. Look at this massive book. The 50 States. So I thought this might be kind of fun to look at with my kids um, in my attempt in the new year of, of spending more quality time, spending just more time, having more things to do with my kids. And so this just has like these big pictures of states with all kinds of factoids and listicles. And uh, browsing through it, I thought, hmm, kind of interesting. I don't know if my kids are going to like it very much. And the more, you notice when you look at these pages, I mean, there's 50 states. I mean, you look at enough of these and you're kind of like, they all look the same. And there's just nothing but lots and lots of lists. I don't know. Kind of cool, but at the same time, it's kind of just like, yeah, someone went on Wikipedia and, and, and got a whole bunch of facts about each state and then designed pages to look just like each other almost over and over again 50 times. That's probably not fair. They worked really hard. They made a really pretty looking book, but kind of cool. But anyways, the 50 states. That's the end of my library haul. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited to get to all this information that I've got uh, to consume it and to learn from it and to become uh, smarter from it. And... Uh, Hope you make your way to the library and do your own library hall soon. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.